Hello, Man Cave Masters. My name is Marcus Banks. Time Washington Commander fan, I'm a Virginia Tech fan, I'm a sports fan in general. So when you go down here, you will see a lot of memorabilia, a lot of pieces that's very valuable to me. I might talk about a few of them. Um, so let's continue to roll and follow me on this journey. Thank you. As I come down here, I'm a man cave. I got pieces from Michael Jordan, Alan Harrison. Of course, I'm a big Michael Jordan fan and a little LeBron fan. I think those are the two goats of basketball. Alan Iverson, he's home with team. He's from Virginia. I used to play against this kid in high school. He's very talented football player. As you can see here, I'm going to start right here with my canvas piece right here. It was a very special piece to me because my cousin gave me this as a gift. We look up. Michael Jordan versus LeBron. Never seen it happen. I wish we could have. So we could have ended that GOAT debate on who was the best basketball player ever. Which I think LeBron James has that title. You tell me this is your opinion. Um, I like Ali. I'm a big Ali fan. I also got a Michael Vick signed rookie of the year picture that he has signed for me. My wife, she gifted me this. Don't she look good? She had a, a Washington Commander swimsuit on. She sounded for me, love always, your wife. I love her for that, hail to the queen. She's the queen of the home. Without her, none of this wouldn't even be possible. I'm gonna go a little farther, gentlemen. This is Red Skin Country. I know we changed the name, but it will forever be in my heart. So this is the wall of pride every time I go out here. Hit this is my, just my luck. I ain't had too much luck the last several years, you know, uh, football season, but hey, that's okay. I feel like we're moving in the right direction. And I feel like the new ownership, along with Maddie Johnson, you get us where we need to be. I'm going to go a little farther. See, I got my Troy in there. Rug on the floor where you can look. You come down here, please step here. Wipe your feet. Wipe your mud. Dirt. Whatever you need to. You know, I can't stand all like Troy in anyway. You know, like Troy Aikman, Emma Smith, Michael Irvin, none of them. You know, God, I like any of the Cowboy fans. I know I got a couple of fans, but that's okay. Um, right here is my mural that I got made, custom made. Um, I got a picture of Sean Taylor. Here's my dad in the middle. He's my hero. Number one, no, no. The Chief Z. I never got a chance to go to a, a live football game with my pops. You know, I'm, I'm making up for it now because I'm going and I'm taking my, my son, my kids with me, my wife. And these guys, they enjoy it. You know, I'm just trying to make a tradition of it. Well, as you can see, I got my logo, the base cave. Once you look at this, everything we need is in this room. Everything. You know, we don't got to go to B Dubs and all these sport bars. We got everything we need right here. Now, this wouldn't be a man cave if I didn't look out for the wife. You know, I can have a baby, but I got to look out for it. You know, so I, I, I fixed up on him down here. Well, come follow him. See how you got a fight? I mean, it's a little thin. She a Washington girl. She got a little Washington stuff in the head. You know, she making it happen. Nice little setup. You know, I actually designed it for her. You know, but she gave me her a hoop. And she like, like a little setup where she can come from next. With the girlfriends, you know, it's sick for wine or whatever. You know, just know, um, if I got one dollar time today, the customized record, thanks for me and her. My song by um, Drew Hill, still some in on it. Hey. Oh, 
when I um, came in here and I designed my man cave, I wanted the building to uh, put some some displays in the wall, so I can so I had a vision, you know, five years ago that I was going to do this, and I wanted to have something where I can, you know, frame my jerseys and sit it in the wall, my display just like what you see. I thought this five years ago and it's, it's never come to pass. Got my pool table down here. As you can see, I got my RD3 Rookie of the Year stuff together on the wall right here. Griffin was a baller. You could agree. That was my guy. When he was with Washington, he put, put the team on his back that year in 2012. I love him. Got Doug Williams. Um, I want to talk about this locker room real quick. My brother. Um, he made this locket. This is one of the first pieces that I had. So every where that we stayed before we built our house, I had to take this locket with me because this was part of my man cave. I had a single room. And uh, I fell in love with this. So this locket here to go with me everywhere. We went. Um, I got my, well, my Christmas tree stuff, of course. But it's my Washington tree. It stays up all year long, every year. I just keep adding ornaments to it. I um, got a custom made ornament by one of our co workers, uh, Miss Tasha. She did an excellent job. Thank you, Miss Tasha, for that. And also, for all you Marvel fans, um, I love the Black Panther. You see what I got? See my bar set up. You want to come down here? Go get your little drink. I got Art Monk in the background. He's serving them up. What's up, Monk? How you doing, baby? You got my Alabama ball designed by the 2015 Alabama Christmas uh, Pinch of Mark Ingram, Mark Cooper, all them guys. Uh, Leslie Collins, all them guys signed that ball for me. Uh, I really appreciate Like I told you, I'm a big time hooky fan. So I got a lot of hooky stuff right here, signed by different players, different years, on the Honor Black History Month. So, um, I got this ball, this is the pioneer of the basketball right here. Three legends, the first three African Americans to ever play in the NBA. All right, we go down a little far, they got a dog wood right here. You know, when I get mad at the Dallas Cowboys, you know, I just come and throw dogs in this bull. You know, it makes me feel better. I love it. Got my little snack table right here. So when I come here, get hungry, and if I to come here, he wants some chips, chips and dip. Um, we got Legends Corner right here. The Red Skin Legends, got the Hall of Fame inducting these on the wall. You know, we three times Super Bowl champions. Hope we can add to the legacy with the new ownership. And the pennants, I got them on the wall right here. You know, signed 1994 team. Oh, this was 1988. That's some of the Washington football team and Karen and Pennants also. All right. Now I'm about to take y'all to the, the locker room. The locker room is a special room for me. That's where it goes down. That's why I go to the next home day. Thank you. you know, I hope y'all enjoyed it so far. But um, as I introduce you to the locker room, come with me. Much more the booze and stuff right here. Later. Man, before we even get in here, this piece right here, this is my, my Sean Taylor case that I got customized. Of course, you know, I got the camouflage. I got the Sean Taylor visor, camouflage helmet. I got his book full speed ahead. And when you zoom in on the figurine, it's customized with the custom LeBron's. You know, the take face mask that Sean Taylor had, the shoes actually signed by the end of the hall that I, I stuck in there too, man, because I really love the end of the game. I love him when he was with Washington. I love him when he was with Atlanta. Yeah. Excellent player, a great guy too. I've done him a couple of times. And as you can see now, I got pictures around the wall, Gary Clark, from uh, Team Banks jersey. Now, we wore these, wore these on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was you know, with the family, everybody was wearing jerseys. They got the family to sign the jerseys, you know, just to, for keep's sake. So I went ahead and just sprayed it, put it in the frame. This was another cornerstone piece of a man cape. 
I'm gonna get this guy much like on Craigslist. And uh, we had a little business, and uh, he made this table for me, customized it, and actually traveled a couple of hours to bring it to me. And he did an excellent job. I hit this table four years ago, still in perfect condition. Still in great condition. He made me some end table also. As you can see, going around right here, I got my ice helmet. Right here, you know, signed by um, that was signed by Kirk Cousins, Jonathan Allen, you know, a lot of um, other Redskins at the time. We got Doug Williams and Doug Walker from a black helmet right here. They signed it when I went to Camp Mash Gear, actually. Um, and I appreciate you guys for that. Um, I actually went to Joe Gears, You for the Bar, bitch, which I got this book from there, man. That's a nice little visit. If you ain't never been, man, you, that's a treat. Man, to hear the greatest coach in Redskin history speak. Had to be. Some people call him the best coach that he ain't never failed. Not um, Joe Gibbs, the only, only kid coach to take three different quarterbacks to the scene book. As you will see, this is the only helmet that I don't got signed. We have my man, K. This is next on the list. So I got to get to work. I want y'all to know that everything, my man, K. that I didn't got signed, I did the groundwork, traveled to these places, different places. Listen, excellent piece right here, man. This is a lovely piece, man. Depending on how many season tickets you got, um, that's how many golden tickets that they sell. You look at the ceiling, say my wife got it, they got my red skin logo in the ceiling. And I'm never getting rid of the red skin stuff because of the history down here. You know, hopefully my kids can hang on to it. done with this video and I appreciate you guys for following me on this journey watching this video subscribe to it you know become a fan that's my question thank you for allowing me to be here at Man Cave Masters for the opportunity to show my man case to the world thank you and look forward to hearing from you guys soon I don't know it's